Hello, my name is Chris, also known as Morphman. I am co-creator of the Torch Entertainment Guide. We at the Torch, along with some of our friends from Virtual Ryuq, have gone together to form a Relay for Life team called Dragon Flame. Early April this year, um, I made what some would consider being a mistake by promising to cut my hair if we reached our goal of $1,000 this year. Last year we made about $200, so I thought, yeah, my hair is safe. But yesterday we reached our goal of $1,000 donated to Team Dragonflame this year, and as promised, I will therefore cut off all my hair. I'm going completely bald. Later the same month, I did another mistake and said that if we go over our goal, I will also shave off all my beard. So yeah, I'm gonna shave off all my beard and cut off all my hair. As promised. I'm not really sure how I feel about this, because I've been uh, growing this beard for three years now, the hair almost as long. Sure, I've trimmed it before, but uh, since I made this promise, I haven't touched my hair, my beard, or my mustache. This thing, I actually won't mind it disappearing, because it gets in the way of my mouth all the time. But yeah. I have a few tools to help me out with this. I don't have a hair trimmer, however I have an electric razor with a so-called sheep shearer. I have my comb, don't know if I'll need it after this. And just to show you how long the hair actually is, I have a ruler. Let's start with the hair. If I can do this one with the camera as a mirror. There, the hair stops. That is 18 centimeters, roughly 7 inches. The beard is 9 centimeters, 3.5 inches. And yeah, the picture gets mirrored, so it's hard to get used to this thing again. Here it stops. One and a half inch or four centimeters. Not an A world records by any stretch of the imagination, but still kind of long. Right. It is time for the moment of truth. I have to admit, I am blind as a bat without the glasses, and I can't have the glasses while cutting, obviously. And I am using a computer monitor in roughly the same resolution you can see right now as a guide. I don't have any mirrors or anything like that. So I might have to finish it off in the bathroom um, afterwards, but I'll do as much as I can over here. Right. As a thanks to all of you who donated and all of you who supported us, all of you who helped us make this come true, here goes nothing.
cut the video here and I will return to you in a blink of a second. I just need to make sure everything is captured. Okay, everything was recorded as it should, so let's continue. That's part one. Actually, before I take the beard and the mustache, I just wanna show you guys the remains, so to speak. Time for a new tool, the camera. Okay, now it's time for the hard part, the beard and the mustache. Let's start with the moustache, so I can prove to you that I'm not always frowning, even though it looks like it. Not too shabby. And now it's time for the three years worth of beard. Alright. I hope 
obviously missed a few spots and I am going to go <coughs> into the bathroom to take care of the rest of it and get a bit more clean shaped. I will be back as soon as that is done and I've had a little bit of a shower. So don't be surprised if my shirt magically changes. It hasn't gone more than a few minutes since you see this. Hello again. I am back from the shower and the touch up. And I am now a cue ball. Before I leave you, there are a few things I want to say. I didn't have to do this. I um, could have chosen not to. I made a promise, but you know, promises can be broken. No one is standing here with a gun against my head. I wouldn't have died if I didn't shave off all my hair. Everyone isn't as lucky. There are thousands of people out there every day that has to uh, lose their hair. I could save my eyebrows. Those people cannot. It can affect anyone, no matter age, gender, race. None of that matters. Cancer can strike anyone at any time. And some can be saved through chemotherapy, but to the price of their hair. They do not have the benefit of a choice. Relay for Life is obviously about getting money for cancer research and helping those who have been afflicted and help preventing it in the future. But they do it a bit differently. As I said, we raised $1,000. That might not seem as much, but that was our team alone in Relay for Life, Second Life. All the teams, uh, over 120 teams, along with all those who have chosen not to give their names who have chosen to donate anonymously, they have to date raised this year alone over $380,000. That's almost $400,000 and the season isn't over yet. When the season ends, people can still donate. Since the start a couple of years ago, Relay for Life in Second Life has gotten over two million dollars in donations. Two million dollars in the grand scheme may not seem as much. But take that together with the thousands of other Relay for Life teams out there in the real world as well and in other virtual worlds. Relay for Life will have its second season in Inworlds next month. There is Bark for Life for the benefit of the caregiving animals, mostly dogs, that some cancer patients need to do their daily things. They need help from animals. There are communities that relay, businesses that relay, schools, associations, foundations, and it's not only in America, even though the money goes to the American Cancer Association. All money in Relay for Life goes directly to ACS. No middle hands, it ends up directly in American Cancer Society. So you always know where your money goes. As the case is for Second Life, these thousand dollars we raised has mostly been for a few cents at the time. Someone throws in five, maybe ten cents. 
but if enough people do it you get a thousand dollars if enough teams do it you get four hundred thousand dollars if enough associations do it you get millions of dollars each year that is just money that money translates into life American Cancer Association works very hard to bring a cure for cancer help those who cannot be cured even if you don't have the five or ten cents you can still help everyone who has talked about these events have inspired at least someone to go visit one of the events every one of those have talked to it to others who have also gone visited and some of those have had those five to ten cents or even a few hundred dollars that they have donated Cancer's biggest weapon is silence. If you stay silent, then cancer will win. If you spread the word that there is solutions out there, that there are people who are trying to help, then you are helping in that very same fight. A cure for cancer is no science fiction. It's not a fantasy. There is a cure out there, and we will find it. And with your help, I hope we can find it sooner. I've been Chris, aka Morphman. I hope you've enjoyed this. And let's see if we can't break the record next year again. Have fun!